And a good evening to you. A discrimination lawsuit has been filed against Bakersfield police and the city of Bakersfield after a local man claims his civil rights were violated. That man was a passenger in a car that was pulled over. And 23 ABC's Brandon Johansson joins us live now with more on what your rights are as a passenger. Brandon. Yeah, Jessica, in light of that suit, we wanted to find out more about what your rights are if you're in a passenger in a car that gets pulled over by police. We talked to a local attorney today about that exact scenario. He said that the issue can be pretty complicated. The city of Bakersfield and its police department under fire from the American Civil Liberties Union. The ACLU filing a lawsuit against BPD after they say that Bakersfield man Robert Mitchell was arrested without cause during a traffic stop. Mitchell claims that last March he was a passenger in a car that was pulled over by police that he was arrested and jailed for 12 hours after he refused to answer officers' questions. When it comes to your rights on the road, it can get confusing. Well, I mean, it's tricky from both sides. Mark Anthony Raimondo has been practicing law in Bakersfield for 17 years now. So it makes it a good place to have defense work because you can do a lot of good work here for people. He says passenger rights are kind of a gray area. The courts, historically, since we've had cars, have viewed being in a car in general, you're kind of giving up your right to privacy just by being out in public. But he does say that if you're a passenger like Mitchell was, you don't even have to give your name if you're pulled over. It's voluntary to talk to the officer if you're a passenger. What's your name? No thank you officer, I refuse not to talk to you is completely fine. He says you would have to answer if police were there for an independent investigation, like if they smelled drugs or thought you were a suspect in a crime. But if you did refuse, they, they certainly can't arrest you for that. And it would be overstepping the line. It's unclear what exactly happened in Mitchell's case because his attorney would not give us the police report and police aren't commenting because it's part of a lawsuit. It's kind of the boundary line between freedom and, uh, and fairness and safety for the officers. But Raimondo says that if you are a passenger in a car that gets pulled over, it's best just to play it safe. The number one job for officers is to go home safe every night. So I think if you're going to try to in enforce your rights, the right to remain silent or the right not to be questioned, make sure you do it in a way that's, uh, you know, takes into account officer safety. Now the ACLU says that no charges were filed against Mitchell, but they did say that the lawsuit seeks compensation for violating Mitchell's constitutional rights by seizing and detaining him without probable cause. Again, BPD not commenting at this time. They just say that they're aware that it's been filed. For now in Central Bakersfield, Brandon Johansson, 23 ABC News.